Right, we're trying to find the square root of a large product plus one. Now you could do this uh, by hand if you wanted to, multiply it out and then try to guess and test for uh, perfect squares. But we're gonna go ahead and assume that uh, it's equal to a perfect square, which is okay, because if it wasn't, then you would get a contradiction later on in the work here. But we're gonna assume that K is a member of the positive integers, okay? So K, we're gonna assume this, the radicand is equal to K squared. So if we can find such a K, the answer will be K, okay? Now again, I hope the logic makes sense. It looks like we're sort of self-defeating to assume what you want to be true. But if, you, if, if in the process of doing this, we found out that we couldn't find such a K, we would know that you just had to do the old fashioned multiply, you know, try to, you know, reduce it in, in the more conventional ways if it's not a perfect square. All right, now, so anyway, what happens here when we make this assumption, we get this nice difference of two squares result. All right, you know, with this, if you subtract one from both sides, you get this value right here is equal to K squared minus one. So we get that this product 264 times 597 is gonna be the product of uh, two integers that have a difference of two, okay? Now, so the next step here, which I think is the easiest, and it's not too hard to find this prime factorization. Uh, this, this right here is equal to 264 is equal to eight times 33, and, and eight times 33 has this prime factorization. 597 is even easier. It's equal to three times 199. It's not hard, hard to determine that 199 is prime. All you have to do is check for prime divisors uh, less than or equal to 13. The square root of 199 is uh, greater than 13. So all you have to do is check the prime divisors 13, 11, 7, 5 and 2, and none of those are divisors of 199. So 199 is prime. Um, and what we need to do at this point, see, the uh, if the difference of these two divisors was 2, we would be done, but it's not. You see, uh, the difference of these two divisors is much more than 2, so we, we're going to seek a rearrangement of this prime factorization. Now, to get this number smaller, uh, the the only really reasonable try is to switch switch it to a two. You see how we changed this three to a two, okay? We stole that two from this two cubed. That's why this is two squared. And then we took this three and put it back here to get three squared, right? Okay, and that's the only thing that's feasible, really. If you multiplied 199 by anything else, it's much bigger, and you're going to have a, a two numbers that are separated by much more than two. So if you take a look at the multiplication right here, uh, two times... 199 is 398. That's just two less than 400, right? So two times 199 is 398. And over here, you get 396. And again, folks, that's not too hard to verify. Uh, this number is four uh, times, uh, what, 99, right? Four times 99. Uh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. What's this? Uh, four, yeah, four times 99. Four times 99 is 360 plus. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we do have our two consecutive uh, integers here, and we'll we'll put the smaller one here, of course, and we'll put the larger one. Equate that to the factor um, k plus one, and so it's very clear right here that k is equal to 397. That completes our work. And really the hardest thing we had to do here was do prime factorization. And then we had to go through a rearrangement. Now, if this had not have worked out, had we not been able to rearrange the prime factorization to where you could get consecutive uh, divisors that were had a difference of two, that's what this is. This object here, according to this, is going to have two divisors that are separated by two, whose difference is two. But that's provided that this was equal to uh, k squared to begin with, okay? The, I mean, that the radicand was equal to k squared to begin with. Had it not been, again, we wouldn't have been able to achieve an integer result for k. So the assumption was completely valid, and the solution to the problem is uh, k equal to 397. Okay, thanks for being.